Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to teach I'm going to be teaching y'all how to cr how to make um players able to own a house in Roblox Studio. Uh and before we get started, I would like to uh, make a couple of announcements. So from now on, um my sh my long scripting videos that I post every Sunday will be in this format like me just talking through the entire thing because for some reason more people um watch the video when I do this and I'm going to be creating a new series called one minute scripts so like easy scripts explained in a minute with uh with like text and showing how to do it and yeah so let's get right to it and note that there's going to be a model uh of this system in the description okay so first we're gonna open toolbox and find some house with so we're gonna find a house and uh, make sure it has a yeah make sure it has a driveway and a mailbox because that's gonna be part of it okay good we have this house very big okay doesn't even have a mailbox okay and then uh, this, I'm just gonna call this house and then I'm gonna in, uh, then in toolbox I'm gonna find a mailbox I'll just insert this one in. So now we have that. Okay, look. So now we have the mailbox. So, uh, put the mailbox at the... No, way. Yeah, just put it somewhere on the house. And now, all you have to do is just insert the mailbox inside the house. Okay, now we have to edit this mailbox. So, uh, find the part that goes... That is, like, the top of the mailbox. So, let me find that right now. So, it's this one insert a, a surface GUI into it and then insert a text label and then make this make background transparency one make the size one comma zero comma zero so in size one comma zero one comma zero so it's like that and then make the text scaled like that okay then it's gonna save a cut so it shows that nobody has claimed the house yet like that okay now we're going to duplicate this house and just move it oh there's going to be some lag yes knew it oh I'll just make the movement grade 50 if that works okay good that that will work okay that will work and Let's do another 25. Let's bring it back. Okay, good. So now we have our three houses with the mailboxes that say what can't. So now uh, we're going to create, in workspace, we're going to create a folder. So go uh, into export, or uh, workspace, insert a folder, and name it houses, okay? We're going to name it houses like this. And we're going to put it in here. Okay, so now in one of the houses, this one, uh, find the mailbox, go to the part with this, uh, with the surface UI, and insert a proximity prompt. So for the proximity prompt, uh, requires line of sight, make that false. Uh, clickable font through, hold duration, uh, three seconds, or whatever you want, and max activation distance, like 15 or something like that action text uh, own and then the object text will be house okay now it's time oh not hose <laughs> house okay good now now it's time to script it okay script okay so look now script dot parent dot triggered connect function player so so first we have to check if the player owns any of these houses okay so we're gonna uh, so oh wait and for these houses we're gonna name it uh, we're gonna do house one house two house three like that okay so so now back to the script so we're gonna do if script dot parent dot parent uh, script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent 
dot parent uh dot house one dot parent dot dot parent dot house one dot mailbox oh and I forgot for each of the mailbox with the part that will contain the surface UI uh name that uh text just name that text <coughs> sorry about that okay so now house two mailbox and then the part with the surface UI name it text and then house three mailbox part with surface UI name it text okay perfect so now uh, so now uh, dot mailbox dot text dot uh, surface surface UI uh, dot text label <laughs> so if script parent up here dot house one dot mailbox dot text dot surface UI dot text label dot text uh, equals equals to player dot name then return then we're gonna do else if if uh, now we're gonna do else if script dot parent, uh, then return uh, this, and then make this house two, and then uh, now now because we have three houses, we'll do uh, one more, and then this is gonna be house three. So this this checks if the player already owns another of these houses, and if not, then it's gonna make it own the house. So then it's gonna be script dot parent dot parent dot surface UI dot text label dot text equals equal equals to uh player dot name so the mailbox will be that name so now we're gonna take this oh and then we're also gonna do script dot parent dot enabled equals to false so the proximity prompt will no longer will no longer be enabled so we're gonna take this proximity prompt uh find all of the things that say text nope uh, I don't think that's gonna work uh we're gonna go to the other so now we're gonna go to the other houses, find the mailbox, insert the proximity prompt, paste it in. So now we have that part working, how to make the player own the house. But now what if the player leaves the game and they still own the house? So we're gonna go into server script service, insert a script, and name it uh, leave. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. Look, game.players.player removing, connect, function player like that so um so now we're gonna do for underscore comma and then we're gonna name it house in pairs parentheses oops not a plus um uh, uh we're gonna do uh game dot workspace dot houses uh get children do uh now we're gonna do if house uh, if house dot mailbox <coughs> dot text dot dot surface UI dot text label dot text equals equals to player dot name then if it equals to that then it's gonna do house dot mailbox mailbox dot text dot surface GUI dot text label dot text equals equals to uh, equals to uh, it will equal to a cont again and then um, after this we're uh, and then uh, house uh, dot mailbox dot text dot prox proximity prompt dot enabled equals to true so we're going to test it in this server local server let's do three players and press start and let's see if it works okay so uh the testing server kind of broke roblox studio so i ended up publishing this as a game so uh now let's test if this works so e house own holding it for three seconds boom w blue and the proximity prompt is gone so now I own the house so if my uh, so if my alt account comes here I don't know why I can't click on it let me get it oh it's still joining <laughs> give me a second 
Okay, so as I was saying, my alt account no longer can take the house, which is good. So uh, now if my main account comes here uh, and tries to take this house, it will not let it because uh, because it already owns. See, look, if you do this, boom, it doesn't work. But my alt here can come and take the house, like this. And now his name is on it. So it's like this so and I can't take it now so it works now let's see if my alt leaves the game leaves the game and see what happens now wait for him to leave and watch what happens now the house just turned to a con and now I can buy it, and now I can own it so as you can see it works and so that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye! Hello.